It's very simple. What I can do, use the if function, if at all, if at all, what is the function I need to write? If this is less than or equal to 7 lakh, I need not to pay any single rupee as a tax, zero. Otherwise, otherwise, I must need to use a max function. As you all know, till here, anyway, it has been covered here. First two slabs are already covered here. Less than or equal to 7 lakh zero. Now I need to consider above 6 lakh. Now, let's say if my amount is, if the taxable income is between 6 to 9 lakh, then could you please tell me what I need to do? I need to take 15,000 plus. Why? Because this 15,000 is still 6 lakh and above, I said 6 to 9 lakh, right? So this taxable value minus, I have to take 6 lakh. 6 lakh into, I should take 10%. Slowly understand. If my taxable value in the new tax regime is above 7 lakh, this is the formula I need to write. The formula is 15,000 rupees plus above 6 lakh 10%. Now, for example, if it is between 9 to 12 lakh, very simple, till 9 lakh, 15,000 plus 30,000, it is 45,000 plus, very simple, C5 minus, I said 9 to 12 lakh, till 9 lakh, right? That above 9 lakh, I should pay 15% as a tax for that slime. I hope you all are clear. Till 9 lakh, 45,000, above 9 lakh, I applied 15%. Another just two brackets, right? For example, if it is between 12 to 15 lakh, it's very simple. Till 12 lakh, 15,000 plus 30,000 plus 45,000, total is 90,000 plus. 90,000 plus excess than 12 lakh, I need to apply 20% tax, right? So C5 minus excess than 12 lakhs, right? So 12 lakh into 20%. Now the last bracket, last bracket in the sense above 15 lakh. Till 15 lakh, 90,000 plus 60,000, 1 lakh 50,000 plus above 15 lakh, that means C5 minus if it is above 15, let me multiply, I'm sorry, it must be C5, it must be C5. Now this should be 30%, close bracket. Though this formula looks like a little bigger, but if you go to the if function, that is much bigger than this. So that's the reason you should appreciate this formula is smaller. Let me tell you again what I'm doing. If my taxable income, which is there in the C5 is less than 7 lakh, I don't want any calculation directly. I want zero. If not, then check it out. If it is between 6 to 9 lakh bracket, check it out. If it is between 9 to 12 lakh, check it out. It is between 12 to 15 lakh. If it is between 15 lakh and above, this is the calculation. Now, there is a, it makes sense because this is zero because my taxable value is just 6 lakh. Now, whenever it is 7 lakh, this is 52,500, but this is zero. When it is 8 lakh, now this is 35,000, this is 72,500. But I have not considered till now the deductions. Now, if I say then some 2 lakh deductions, then this is still 8 lakh, but this becomes 6 lakh. On 6 lakh, it is 32,500. So now I can say old tax regime is beneficial than the new tax regime if 8 lakh is your income and 2 lakh is your deduction. But I want to create a chart, right? Now, tax saving. Or else, let me put a difference column, right? Old minus new. Because it is a negative value, that means old is beneficial. If it is a positive value, new is beneficial. That 